Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a steampunk um, art journal page that's got a cutout in it, so it's a bit interactive. So I'm starting off in the 6x16 Awakely journal and I'm starting off with some, I suppose, traditional type steampunk colours with this olivey green colour, a sandy red colour called Sedona. Um, some umber and some metallics. So I'm just mixing them all in together while they're still wet and adding in some of the metallic. Now um, when I started I wanted to have some of that olive green coming through and it didn't really work and I didn't particularly like how the metallic went over the top. So I broke out a new stencil that I got and um, rubbed away the excess paint which gave that really cool ghost effect. I'm just using my heat tool to dry it off. So I've got some texture in the background. And now I'm going in with some stamps. So I started off with um, the large cog stamp and I'm just using the archival um, walnut stain, but I didn't get a great impression. And that's partly because my paint, while it was sort of dry to the touch, was still a little damp. So I actually decided that I was going to stamp with paint and you can see I get a much more detailed impression. And that's why these foam stamps are really fantastic because you can actually stamp with paint and get a really cool um, impression. The other thing about the foam stamps are because they're a little bit thinner and more flexible you can kind of get them into really tight spaces, you can bend them where you need to. And I decided that I would stamp off in the background on my next page too because I had an idea that I was going to um, cut through to the next page anyway so I didn't mind using the next sort of page as my use it up page. I went back to the metallic colours and instead of sort of mixing it into the paint decided to stamp over it and again I really love this effect because you get this beautiful glint of metallics over the top of everything that you're doing. I also stamped it off into the back of my journal and I'm also using the brayer to brayer off some of the metallics over the top and this gave a really cool little shimmery effect as well. So again I'm just going in and heat setting what I've got and I'm adding some extra stamping to the page. So I've got sort of these numbers and a few other bits and pieces that I had in my stash that I'm going to be using. And again I'm sort of using unmounted stamps because um, I just like the effect that you get from them, that you can sort of bend them around. While this journal doesn't actually have very much in it at the moment, because the paper is quite thick, it's the um, part around the binding actually is quite um, hard to sort of get around. So it's good to have stamps that you can sort of bend around and move around so you can get them into it. I'm also using some sort of grungy number stamps and grids in the background so I can get some cool effects. And I'm going to be using this little um, silhouette of the steampunk keyhole. And I love using silhouettes in my art journals. I think they're really stunning how they come out. So I'm just using a white Stabilo oil pencil to get an idea of the outside of the keyhole. And I'm remembering to cut within that line because I actually want to leave a little space so I can actually glue this keyhole down onto my page. I've just slipped in a really thin cutting mat so I can cut that out. I'm just using a sharp um, Stanley knife, a uh, craft knife to cut that out. And now I'm just going in and rubbing off the extra um, Stabilo oil pencil because I didn't want that white line around the outside. If you um, do use a Stabilo oil pencil though, it is water um, water reactive sorry so you can just use a little wet wipe and it will wipe off so I'm just gluing on my little silhouette and you can see there how it peeps through to the next page and you get a good idea of what's going through now to be honest um, if I had been very organized I probably should have done uh, colored the background of the page I cut first or stuck down what I was going to do on it first but I didn't really think that far ahead I'm just using now some of the new Dina Wakely Gloss Sprays um, on my journal page just to get a different effect and I want to use a contrasting colour so you could sort of see that um, 
the printing in the background that ties the two pages together but I wanted a different colour so um, it would stamp out. I'm also using some of the same number stamps so there's a lot of repeated elements happening on this page um, to um, tie them all together. At this stage I was still a little bit unsure of what I was going to do with the back page. The reason I haven't done anything with it yet was because I was still sort of debating whether I wanted to have it flap like this or if I was just going to glue it down onto the page. But in the end I decided I wanted to flap. So I'm using this text to glue over the page and this is what I meant about um, having done this first. It would have been easier if I just glued this down instead of having to glue it down, cut it out. Um, and work out what I was doing, um, particularly because I hadn't, um, I didn't have the keyhole to sort of use as a bit of a guide to cut out anymore. So I actually um, had to use the part that I cut out from my journal. So don't throw it away until you've finished. Um, I'm just using what I've got in my um, through the keyhole just to um, mark in some marking spots on my. Um, collage piece of paper so I know where to put that keyhole to cut it out. So it ended up being fairly close in the end um, but as I said before if you had it all glued down to begin with it would make it an awful lot easier. So I'm just using some gel medium to glue everything down um, being quite generous with it as I glue it down and making sure everything lines up and I end up with my extra piece and I've just sort of torn it over so it blends onto the other page so it still looks like one page you've got that sort of gradation of color coming off so now I'm just going in and heat setting my gel medium just to make sure everything's glued down and all finished and ready to go I'm also trimming off you can see just a little bit of that text peeking through from the other side so once I'd finished this, I decided I needed some focal images. And for me, um, text is a really good focal image. So I've gone back to the ScrapFX rice papers. This is one that was released a few months ago for their um, creativity. And it had Artists Meant to Disturb and Science Reassure, which uh, really appealed to me at the moment. And I'm just using some gel medium over the top and underneath to glue it down. Usually it will sort of meld in a, really, a, a bit. On this page the white sort of really st stood out so I decided to get my blending solution, not my blending solution, my blender sponge out and um, add some ink over the top just to help blend it into the background a little bit. I also used a, quick, a chipboard quote from Ideology and glued that down the page so I had dreamer of dreams underneath so you have that man sort of looking through on both sides um, to um, have something I'm trying to work out what I'm trying to say sorry <laughs> the, the man there is the focus of that silhouette so he, he's a dreamer of dreams and on this page I decided I wanted to do some journaling over the top so talking about how I feel about um, people's scientific literacy and critical thinking skills at present in social media really bugs me particularly coming from an educational background um, and what I teach the kids at school about how to um, sort out fact and fiction and what's a good website and what's not and how to research um, and I see adults who aren't able to do the same sort of thing so um, that's just a little bugbear of mine. So on this side I decided to put the words state of mind because, um, you know, it is a state of mind. What, whatever you believe, and there's no judgment here, whatever you believe, but it is a state of mind. People will choose to believe what they believe and choose to research what they want to research. So over my um, writing I've decided to put um, artists with, um, that the, which the hand, the head and the heart go together because for me that's what's really important and that sort of ties in with this page too. You know, it was the hand, the head, the heart, the thinking, the journaling, um, the thought-provoking quote about science reassurers that made this page go in the way it did. So here's a close-up of all the pieces and you can see all the scrap effects bits and pieces in the background that I used. Um, in the description box below you'll find a link 
to both Scrap FX where you'll find the blog that has a closer um, close up of all these images and also um, a link to their shop if you're a re wholesaler and retailer will have a, sh a link to a shop called the scrap scrapboard um, stash .com.au where you can purchase some of these materials as well if that's more convenient for you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.